Hi everyone, welcome to another uh, videos on question solving regarding MRCS which will help you for pass the MRCS exam. The question, uh, which of the following is not content of porta hepatis? So it is one of the direct question here, which is not a content of porta hepatis. So first of all, we have to find out what is porta hepatis, then the second one, uh, we have to know what are the contents of porta hepatis. If we get the content of porta hepatis, then not content will be found easily. Uh, the answer options are portal vein, hepatic artery, cystic duct, limb node, and none of the above. First of all, uh, here we can see this is the porta hepatis. The porta hepatis is here. Yeah, yeah, the porta hepatis is a gateway uh, from there. Any structure uh, that has to uh, enter into the liver, it uh, ha uh, has to go through this. And any structure except the hepatic veins, they uh, want to exit from the liver. They have to uh, they, uh, they have to exit through this porta hepatis. So porta hepatis is a the main gate of the liver. Through this gate, any structure uh, uh, have to uh, has to enter or exit. They have to go through this porta hepatis except the hepatic vein because hep hepatic vein is directly drained the inferior vena cava by pass uh, bypassing the porta hepatis. So without porta hepatis uh, without hepatic vein all other structure passing through this porta hepatis which structure is uh, essential for the liver and essential for, uh, 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 to excrete the waste product so here he, uh, the, uh, this is the porta hepatis we can see here and the porta hepatis contains some of the structure Mm, we can see here they are the portal vein, uh, this structure, then hepatic artery, the radon, and then hepatic duct. So, three important structure portal vein, hepatic artery, and hepatic duct, and the relation from posterior to anterior. From posterior to anterior, first of all, portal vein, then hepatic artery, and hepatic duct, and two of them all present with hepatic. So, it is uh, easy to remember hepatic artery hepatic duct hepatic artery and hepatic duct and the first one we have to memorize it is portal vein so portal vein hepatic artery and hepatic duct these three structure are the main components of the porta hepatis and it passes through the porta hepatis and for any organ there is needed the innervation so nerve structure also also passes there and also the limb node so limb node nerve structure and portal vein hepatic artery hepatic duct this five structure is the main structure which passes through the porta hepatis in this picture we can see the cystic duct the cystic duct is far away from the this is the right hepatic duct and this is left hepatic duct so cystic duct it is far away from the hepatic duct so the cystic duct is usually not uh, lies within the porta hepatis here uh, we know that the hepatic duct uh, enters through the porta hepatis so porta hepatis lies in this region but cystic duct it lies outside the porta hepatis region so here we can see the important three structures these are portal vein hepatic artery and hepatic duct and two other important structure that is limb node and other structures such as nerve so these five structure are the main component which passes through the porta hepatis so our final answer is cystic duct because the cystic duct lies outside the porta hepatis so the cystic duct the cystic duct is not the content of the porta hepatis other structure is such as, as portal vein hepatic artery and limb node they are the content which passes through the water hepatitis. Thank you all.